morning, Auburn. My name is Brianna. And my name's Rod. And my name is Lexi. It's 8 a.m. at Auburn Elementary School in St. Albans, West Virginia. Fifth grader Ryan Broderick starts the day co-anchoring his school's live newscast. See ya. Then it's time to hit the books for some serious learning. I hope I get to be somebody very successful. I want to be somebody that's um, very good at what they do. 0 0.25. 0 0.25, good. Ryan may have a knack for numbers, but he'll need more than the three R's to compete in the new millennium. Skills like critical thinking, creative problem solving, and teamwork are now essential. That's why West Virginia is engaged in a massive statewide school reform that leverages project learning. We think it's time in West Virginia that we teach our kids those skill sets that our business partners, including Oracle and, and many others, know that are extremely important in order for our students to be globally competitive in their future. Last week in the newspaper... You know, in the quest to bring education into the 21st century, teachers like Deb Austin Brown are at the forefront. The world of work is so different now, even from when I was a child growing up in the school system, and we need to get the kids ready. In November 2007, Deb joined 80 educators from around the globe for the Oracle Education Foundation's first ever Project Learning Institute. It was a great chance to learn more and stretch myself beyond usual boundaries. The Institute shows teachers how to design and implement learning projects that teach 21st century skills. The students are going to assign themselves a topic and then we're going to brainstorm. I kept thinking of all the resources that I could use to pull in to make this project go beyond our classroom. Children of all ages are going to be reading them around the world. When Deb gets back to West Virginia, she's ready to put her plan into action. The name of the project is the Success Project, and the reason I chose that is because I think in schools, we sometimes give kids information and knowledge, but we don't teach them how to be successful in their pursuit in a job or in life. Ryan Broderick is one of 24 eager fifth graders Deb assembles to take on the Success Project. I said to them, I promise your life will change and it will be for the better. Okay, boys and girls, turn back to your student pages. Deb asks her students to identify someone they admire and learn as much as they can about how that person achieved success. We had George Washington, Eleanor Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. Ryan chooses early 20th century self-improvement teacher Dale Carnegie. I didn't even know who Dale Carnegie was before the Success Project, so once I got to know who he was, I got to look up research so that I can use some of his success strategies in my life, too. Thanks to the Oracle Education Foundation's ThinkQuest project environment, students can even collaborate and share their work with kids around the world. With traditional education in the past, the teacher's been recognized as the expert, and the curriculum was driven by a textbook. And I wanted kids to know that the teacher can be the leader, the guide, the project developer, but the, that the world is the resource for learning. The students work overtime getting ready for success night. That's when they'll share their projects with an audience of parents, peers, and community leaders. Please welcome Ryan Broderick. Ryan talks about Dale Carnegie. Whatever I do, I will always accomplish things when there seems to be no hope at all, just like he did. What about you? Ryan's next accomplishment? A face-to-face -face meeting with his modern-day role model, Verizon West Virginia President Keith Fulton. Good to meet you as well. Mind if I ask you some questions? Oh, sure. For Ryan, it's the perfect opportunity to talk about success. Um, what 21st century learning skills do you think would be most important for me to master so that I will be a successful person in the 21st century world of work? People that can solve problems and they can use technology and they can collaborate and work well with others in teams are the kinds of skills you'll need for the 21st century. Uh, we've got a computer here. And Fulton shows Ryan the cool technology that helps him do his job, and the two make a call to Fulton's mother via video phone. You're what grade? Uh, fifth, fifth. Fifth grade. Well, wonderful. That's great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay. 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 Ok
I think that as young people are being prepared today for the 21st century, uh, the kind of skills that Ryan is learning will be important for sitting in this chair. Thanks for all your time. Aligning education and business is key. Right. But to achieve major reform, the policymakers have got to be on board. You did a tremendous job. West Virginia Governor Joe Manchin is confident his state's investment in 21st century education will provide massive returns, both a bright future for kids like Ryan and a strong state economy. We're able to say, you bring your business or you expand your business in West Virginia, I will guarantee you we'll have the workforce that you can sustain that business. In the meantime, Ryan can take a well-deserved break to shoot some hoops. Thanks to hard work and a 21st century education, he's got a clear shot at success. And that's a big win for everyone. The other day when Ryan came in, he said that he felt like he had the strategies he needed under his belt to be successful in the world of work. And it brought me to tears. And the first thing I said was payday, because those are the paychecks that teachers live for.